Hello, everybody, and welcome back to RuneScape. No, we need some volume. Let me get some volume up in here. Yeah, welcome back to RuneScape 3 Hardcore Iron Man from scratch. Uh, the Dragon Hatch, it's amazing. It's great. Woodcutting with this thing is, is much faster than without it. And we are banking tons of teak logs, and we hit 65 woodcutting. I missed the level. Uh, but I, I, th I think pretty soon I'm just going to have to have one of those jamming sessions where you guys don't get a hardcore Iron Man video for a couple days longer than usual just because I want to grind it straight to 75 to unlock the requirement for uh, Prifthinus. But for now, I think we're going to settle with 65 and go do some Slayer because, I don't know, it just sounds like fun. So I've been saving up my Slayer points for a while and I, th I think I finally figured out what I want to start off by spending them on. And I... <laughs> It's going to be to block grot worms. Uh, you know, I waited way too long to block these on my main account, and they're just a bad task. I mean, it's, it's just a waste of time. So let's get another task, and we never have to worry about grot worms ever again. Feels amazing. Ooh, 62 Slayer. Looking good. All right, it's time to just do a bunch of random quests in no particular order. Uh, yeah, this is basically the part of the video where I just say the names of the quests, say that we completed them, go, wow, look, we got some XP. And, uh, yeah, the first one up is Biohazard. Check out Seb here, finished up his full Carols. Actually, Carols looks pretty damn good in RS3. Uh, if you read this, do, n do not say thank Mr. Seb. Say, uh, go away, Mr. Seb. But what are those, dude? Blue Dragonhide Vam Braces? Come on. And there's Dwarf Cannon done. I can't believe I didn't do this one earlier, but yeah. Now we can make cannonballs and stuff, add that to our tool belt, and uh, I'd be lying if I said I didn't spend literally 5 or 10 minutes looking for the last broken fencing here, and I needed the help of my stream to find it, so tells you something about my IQ. Big chompy bird hunting. I'm sorry, chompy bird quest. Why do they do this? You've completed big chompy bird hunting. You've completed the chompy bird quest. The inconsistencies in this game. Jagex needs to be a more professional company. I'm, I'm, I'm really getting sick and tired of their shit. Anyways, let's go do some more quests. <laughs> Yo, my god. Thank you so much to Les Stargaze. For 10 bonds? Oh my god, dude. Thank you so much, man. Gotta tell him I won't leave him. Because, I mean, this this is commitment, you know. I'm getting married, but that's nothing compared to this kind of commitment. Thank you so much, my man. There's another quest, Creature of Fenk and Strain, done. Now we got the Ring of Karos. And uh, I don't remember what quest we have to do to imbue this. Oh, yes, I do. Wait a minute. It's Garden of Tranquility. Oh, oh God, no. Oh, God, no. Please, no. Not again. There we go. Ghosts Ahoy, done. We finally have an Ectophile. Oh, and 2400 Prayer XP. But now that we have an Ectophile, actually, whenever I feel like it, we can bring all those Dagonoth bones we got from doing DKs over here to the Ectophantus and use them for some XP gains. So yeah, we'll, pro we'll probably just randomly do that in any moment now. There is Zogre. Flesh Eater's done. And the reason I did this one... Uh, is because someone pointed out that I could pretty much, yeah, I can do as a first resort, and some of the stuff from this quest is pretty useful, and I think you can make those flasks or whatever every day, which is something I'll want to start doing now uh, for uh, herb lore in the future. So yeah, let's go do as a first resort and get some good rewards. Holy shit, we are done with as a first resort. This is literally... I like hands down. I'm saying it. I I regret. I retract any statement I said before about any other quest. This is the worst quest in RuneScape three. I thought about quitting four times playing through this quest. I did quit three times. This is recorded four months later. Uh, yeah. Anyways, fifteen thousand XP in woodcutting hunter and fire making any levels? No, not even a level to make me feel better. Uh, we do get access to these pools, which some of them have some pretty decent effects. I think one gives you like a stamina effect, and we got four caskets. We got coins and two cosmic talismans. <sighs> Today's just going great. There we go. Missing presumed death is complete. I should have done this quest a long time ago. Uh, I was putting it off because I'm like, oh, you know, I'm not going to be able to get the high level rewards anyways. Uh, but, I mean, a thousand agility XP would have been helpful before. And the invitation box is basically a teleport to this area here, which is nice for, you know, the all the quests that I've been doing in this area, so yeah, cool, 1,000, or 500 prayer XP, 1,000 agility XP, and I don't know, I gotta put it into strength, I never train strength. Well, I fucked up a little bit, so I came here to get the thieving XP lamp, because I was like, yeah, sure, why not, I've got 99 already anyway, so there's 50,000 thieving XP, and it didn't give me the constitution lamp, because I don't have 75, obviously, but it gave me the lamp you need to put uh, XP into a skill over 75, 
which is what is it 30,000 experience and I was like oh shit so I'll just destroy it real quick but you cannot get a replacement for the ancient lamp and it's not bankable so I basically just wasted 30,000 herb lore XP which is really fucking lame and I was considering just getting some other skill up to 75 but I, I just don't think it's worth the time so we are unfortunately depressingly tiered stricken gonna just gonna put it into divination it's so bad oh my gosh I'm upset right now though so I got a little sidetracked from doing quests just a little bit and now we're uh, 75 fire making for burning all these maple logs we had okay I got really sidetracked um, I think 75 is what you need to do that little mini game in Char's cave to get the book or the quest firemaker's curse or something to get the book of Char which like once oh I need 76 constitution as well okay that'll come with time um, but you get the book of Char after that or something like that and there's this really good fire making method where you just drop a bunch of logs on the ground activate that get like a hundred thousand experience in the span of like two minutes or something so I think at some point once I get the quest requirements we'll definitely have to go do that quest and acquire that and uh, yeah we'll get some crazy fire making gains after that 75 fire making yeah boy and there is song from the depths completed this is like the newbiest newbie quest I don't know how I didn't do this already but best reward 700 XP in constitution oh dude if I would have killed like three things I could have timed it so I got a level from that and then I could have made some sarcastic joke about oh my god I got a constitution level you only do this quest it's great anyways now we can do QBD well actually we can't we're not even close to doing QBD but one day we can do QBD and turn this into a royal crossbow probably in like a month or something like that there is rum deal complete actually some pretty decent experience with this quest to uh, 7000 XP in prayer and farming which are two skills I need XP in no levels how oh my god right that's because it takes a ton of XP to level up now and oh no because I haven't used the lamps that's why I'm actually just not that bright guys ignore basically anything I say these days hey we got a prayer level level 57 prayer and 71 fishing very nice um yeah Cool quest, I think it's totally fun. God, finally the grind is over. Oh my god, it took so long. Pirate's treasure is completed. Uh, I don't think we really even have to do quests anymore. I mean, that's the end game. Look at these rewards. Holy shit, oh my god. Better than I remember. Hey, we did a death plateau, a good quest. 300 XP lands, put them all on herb lore, because I don't know what you mean. Oh, dude, I was memeing, but look at this. We actually got an herb lore level from there. <laughs> oh man, death plateau is such a good quest. Holy shit. Whoa, I had no idea. Like, I was going to make another joke about, oh my god, Troll Stronghold, such a hard quest, but 10,000 XP per lamp? And, uh, oh my god, okay, well, there's 20,000 more herb lore XP. Is that another herb level? Oh my god, dude, questing's overpowered. I actually didn't know that this quest gave such good rewards. And we also did Edgar's Ruse, because why not continue the trend of doing horrible quests? 11,000 herb XP, which is pretty nice. Almost got us another herb level. Man, the herb lore gains are crazy today. Oh my god, finally! One small favor is complete. Got some good rewards, actually. Got some XP lamps, 20,000 more XP in herb lore. There's 57 herb lore. <sighs> I guess it was worth it. It was pretty nice. Thanks, Yanny. <laughs> or is it Laurel? <laughs> oh, sorry. One second. I'm getting a call. Here's another newbie quest. 1,000 mining XP, 400 smithing XP. Absolutely insane. And does this already come pre-equipped with some, some bonus XP? Oh, I didn't. Oh, okay. 500 bonus XP in smithing. Yay. Here's Cabin Fever done, which gets us yeah, some XP lamps. This is pretty cool. Agility XP. Yeah, whatever. No one cares about this. But, uh... Now we can also kill, uh, what are they called? J the guys for the Black Mask. I can't remember what they're called. Horrors. Cave Horrors. Uh, so at some point, probably, I guess we'll either wait till we get a Cave Horrors task or go grind them out and hopefully get ourselves a Black Mask so we can start working on our uh, Slayer Helmet. That'd be pretty cool, yeah? Yo, shout out to Ice Star 99 for the bomb. Thank you so much, my man. I appreciate it. Hey, look at that. We completed Quest Point Herder. Four Quest Points. Hell yeah. One off 175. I want I want to get to 175. Let's go to 175. Hi, YouTube. Hi, Ice Star. Hey, there we go. 175 Quest Points thanks to Heziel Colt. 1500 Thieving XP. Yeah, that really came in handy there. <laughs> but yeah, 175 Quest Points. I think that means actually I can finish up Recipe for Disaster completely. I, I guess I could have just done the recipe for disaster quest for the quest points but eh, whatever we'll, we'll yeah we'll do it eventually
I uh, turned all those Dagonoff bones we got from DK's and Bone Meal here at the Ectophontus. And here we are finishing up, turning it all into prayer XP. And we are just 10,000 off 60 prayer. Looking pretty solid. So I just looked through my bank and realized that I had exactly enough uh, loops and, uh, what are they called? Tooth halves to make two crystal keys. So let's open the crystal chest twice and see exactly what we can get. Alright, we got, ooh, three rune bars and a dragon stone. Very nice. And the next one. 150 coal and dragon stone, so the coal kind of sucks because I've gotten, you know, way too much coal already. But, two dragon stones, pretty nice, you know, once I get, you know, gosh, you need such a high crafting level to make any other dragon stone jewelry. Like, it's actually a bit ridiculous. 80 to make a glory, uh, 72 for the necklace, and 74 for the bracelet. I mean, we'll be there soonish, but still, you can cut an onyx before you can make a glory or a... Uh, the other Dragonstone jewelry, I mean, that's, that's a little ridiculous. So, you guys will be so proud of me. First off, we're making our first super energy potions. These are going to be semi-useful for doing quests. I mean, energy potions aren't the most important thing in RuneScape 3 as run energy like restores very fast and drains very slow, especially with a higher agility level. Uh, also, we've gotten 58 herb lore right there. And uh, I've kind of organized my herb lore tab slightly. It'll be more organized, obviously, in the future once we have a bunch more herbs and can actually make potions out of them. Let's see, I've got the herbs, the unfinished potions, and then the secondaries that you use uh, with those herbs. I've also moved Guam into the summoning tab, because I think you can make a summoning familiar that might be semi-useful with it. And Marantils are basically useless, so I, I really don't know what I'm going to do with them. If you guys know of any uses for Marantils, let me know. I'll keep them until uh, this video's been up for a bit, and then I'm just going to drop them and never pick them up because they're garbage. But yeah, I think I'm going to hold off on doing any herb lore for a little while, though, until I can do dungeoneering and get that scroll that lets you uh, save herb lore ingredients every now and then, as I feel like that's going to help me out a ton with doing herb lore, and I'd rather not waste secondaries because some of these are a real pain in the ass to gather. Anyways, I think I'm going to end the video off here. Some pretty decent progress this time. 1668 total, nearing up to 1700. Still not having that second life. We don't even have a mill to buy it anymore because I'm spending so much money on broad arrowheads. I really need to get my Slayer up to unlock some of the creatures that make you pretty decent gold per hour, like gargoyles and spiritual warriors. So maybe in the next part we'll take an extra emphasis on leveling up Slayer. Although I really wanted to get to 250 quest points this month, so we've got a lot of work left to do uh, to get there. So we'll see. As I'm sure you guys know it's just a jumbled mess of what I end up doing. Here's our time played. Uh, 25 hours since the last part, and we've gained just over 1.6 million total XP. Over 30 million total XP right now, looking pretty solid. And only about half of that is from thieving. Uh, if you count herb lore, god, I have like barely any XP and skills. So, anyways, thanks for watching the video, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure to gently caress that like button down below and subscribe to see some more videos in the future and i will see you next time it's probably a lot of quests probably a lot of iron man garbage and nope that's it that's all you get sorry goodbye